Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inusor Education. Um, we will solve today um, well, the problem which I call arithmetic. Basically, it's about numbers. That's it. But anyway, so we qualify it as arithmetic. It's part of the course called Math with uh, Plus and uh, Problems, presented on Unisor.com. Um, the um, uh, part uh, which this lecture belongs to is called arithmetic. And this is lecture number seven in that particular part of the course. Now, this course, by the way, Math Plus and Problems, it has a prerequisite. On the same website, you have the course called Math for Teens. Um, so, all the courses are totally free. There are no advertisement. I do suggest you to watch this lecture from this website. So, you go to unisor.com, choose this particular course, choose the part of the course called arithmetic and then it's no, number 07 so that's how you go to that particular page and on the page you have both the video presentation and the textual presentation it's exactly the same it's like a textbook basically where uh, I present the uh, the problem um, and uh, answer to this problem in many cases solution as well if well, if the problem requires a solution, let's put it this way, if it's really something important, not just a regular exercise. So, um, uh, so I would suggest you to go to this website to watch the lecture. If you found it somewhere else, like on YouTube or wherever, well, you will have only the video part. If you want the text show, it really helps to understand better. Okay, so Today's problem is, well, on one hand it's relatively simple, on another hand it's, I would say, unusual for arithmetic. It's not just an exercise on uh, addition or, or multiplication or whatever, but it is in a way. So here's the problem. We have two friends, mathematicians, and uh, they didn't really see each other for a long time, then they met. Let's call them Mike and David. And uh, Mike told uh, David that he has three sons. Well, natural questions. Um, David was asking, okay, how old they are? And here Mike have decided, Mike, Mike has decided to, you know, to demonstrate um, his mathematical abilities to David. And he said, okay, I will not tell you exactly what's the ages of uh, my sons. However, let's call them X, Y, and Z, three sons. So their sum is equal to 13. Okay, said David, that obviously is insufficient to determine the ages. Okay, then Mike added their product is equal to number of windows in the building across the street which David can count basically all right David counted uh, the windows in the building and said well it's still insufficient and then the third thing which Mike told okay my oldest son oldest son is redhead which seems like non-mathematical kind of thing however after that David said okay now I definitely know the ages of your sons they are such and such and such but obviously your problem is how David did it, basically. Okay, so at this point I suggest you to pause this lecture and think about this problem yourself. It's very important to think about the problem before you read the solution. Um, even if you did not come up with your own solution, it's still very useful. Because the whole purpose of this course is development of your mind, of your critical thinking, and your um, analytical abilities, etc. So that thinking actually is the exercise. So 
think about the problem and if you solve it that's great if you don't you can read the solution or listen to this lecture where I present the solution and still after that you have to think about this you have to go through the solution again just to make sure that you understand it completely okay so here is the solution first of all there are not too many um, numbers which uh, integer numbers positive integer numbers that gives the sum uh, equal to 13 and uh, I'm actually intending to write them out so let's start 1 1 and 11 ok 1 2 and 10 1 3 and 9 1 4 and 8 1 5 and uh, 7 1 6 and 6 okay if I will start 1 7 that would be a repetition so we don't want to repeat anything okay now 2 1 10 is already taken so um, it's 9 2 2 and uh, no sorry I have to start from 2 2 2 2 and 9 ok 2 3 and 8 2 4 and 7 2 5 and 6 and then it will be a repetition now 3 well 3 1 is already was 3 2 ok it's 3 3 that's 6 times 7 uh, 3 4 uh, 6 3 5 5 and 3 6 already happened and the last one is 4 um, 1 2 3 4 4 4 that's 8 and 5 4 and that's it that's it I think yes so these are all the numbers without the repetition I mean you can change the order but I, I just wanted to do it always in the uh, ascending sequence so these are all combinations which give 13 in the sum and obviously it's insufficient to determine um, the ages uh, of uh, the sum because there are many of them 5 and 4 that's 9 and 3 12 13 different combinations okay fine now let's go to the second their product is equal to number of windows well let's calculate their product product is 11 product is 20 product is 3 times 9 27 4 times 8 32 5 7 35 36 because here is what I'm uh, saying basically if you know the number of windows well let's check which particular combination of um, three numbers gives the product which is uh, the number of windows in the building okay four four five that's uh, what eight uh, times five forty okay two two nine uh, four thirty six uh, five forty mm, two four seven eight fifty six ten sixty twenty one uh, sixty three uh, twelve seventy two 
2575. Okay, now, and here is the most important part of it. Now, if the number of windows is one of these, then obviously, uh, what's his name? David counted how many windows. He knows this, so he can just choose which particular um, three numbers gives the product which he had calculated. But he said that he cannot determine the ages just by that information. Why? Here is why. Thirty-six and thirty-six are the same. Everything else, if you notice, is different. So that's the most important part of it. If everything was different, then he would be able to determine after counting the number of windows in the building. But he said he cannot determine that. If he cannot determine this, question is why? Here is why. Because two different combinations give the same uh, product, 36. All others are different. So the only reason why he cannot determine the age is because he cannot choose between these two. Because if the number of windows was one of these numbers, he would say that yes, that's sufficient and I will just and, uh, and I have the solution to this problem. But since the number of windows was 36, he said, so that's the only reason why he said that, you know, that he cannot determine, because the number of windows was 36 and 36 repeat twice. Next. Oldest son is redhead. What does it mean? It means there is an oldest son. In this case, there, are, there is no oldest son, because they are of the same age, twins probably. In this case, there is oldest son. So the fact that the oldest son is redhead, redhead is irrelevant. What is relevant is that there is an oldest son. And the answer is 2, 2, and 9. These are ages of David's son. OK, so this is the problem which basically combines arithmetic and some logic. So that's very important for you to understand what exactly information is given and how it's used. First of all, you have given that the sum is equal to 13, and that is sufficient to write all the triplets of numbers, sum of which is 13. Then there is uh, information that there is a known product. Well, that's a lot, actually, because if you will check all the products, they seem to be all different. Well, except two. And then the logic is that if uh, David could not determine um, the ages of uh, Mike's sons, it means that the number of windows is one of those which repeat the value. And then the third condition actually is playing this decisive game. OK, that's it. It's a relatively simple problem. And uh, I do suggest you to read again the, so, uh, the, the condition of this problem on Unizor, Mass Plus and Problems course. Choose the arithmetic, this number 07. And read conditions of this problem again and try to basically do exactly the same as I did on, on the board. And do it in writing. Just open some kind of a notebook, piece of paper, whatever, and write diligently all these combinations. Make sure that you cover all the combinations. And then check that the logic which I did is correct. <coughs> okay. That's it for today. Thank you very much and good luck.